Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Two Point Hospital. we got a lot of people being sick into these bins, which is not very helpful. For legal right. reasons, staff are asked to try their best. Training course complete, research, excellent. Right, animal, ooh, animal magnetism. Right, we've got to build a new animal magnetism lab. There's been an outbreak of animal magnetism in the area after the crumbly mega market sold surplus supplies of dog food as meaty human chow. <laughs> uh, meaty human chow. There's a group of shoppers looking for treatment. We'll be rewarded if we treat this group of patients. Should we have them sent here? Yes, absolutely, we should. We need to build an animal magnetism lab over here. So let's have a look in our rooms. Uh, run down here, fracture chromotherapy. Pest control, that's the one that we want. This has got to be a 4x4. Four four. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do that. There. So we will scrap that. Yes. Rooms. And then go back to pest control. To build a 4x4, four four, we will do that. Right there, and the door can go on that side. And then this one here, this beautiful cannon-like machine, can go right down there. And let's quickly plonk down a bin in the corner over there. We'll put some hand sanitizer in here, although they're covered in animals, so I don't think the hand sanitizer is going to make a huge amount of difference, to be honest. Um, we're going to want a radiator to keep all of those snuggly little animals warm. We're going to want a chair for the nurse that works in here to sit on. She can sit right there like that. And let's put a couple of these prints on the wall. It looks kind of bizarre and swirly and slightly cool. Like that. Uh, wait a minute. I want to put a plant in here. I'm going to put a couple of plants in here if I can. I'll put one there. And the other type of plant, which can't go there. But I can put a second one there. That's it. That'll do. Let's not get carried away with that. So there, we've now got animal magnetism. If we go to items right here, we will take our purple benches. And we're going to put one and two and three there. So we've got some over that side. We've got... GP's waiting over here. I've got very little room over this side. But I do have some room. So we can put a bench, a bench, a bench, and finally a bench over there. I won't put any over this side. There's no need for any. But there, I've now got plenty of room for people who are waiting. And... Not the researcher's desk. It's that one there. Right, we can upgrade pest control. Upgrade... Cro Why have they all got some... Oh, remember we had some notes for different things? For um, training research, output research level four. That would be pretty cool. Although I think we're going to want some other basic things. We've got shock clinic. We need to treat the shock clinic and we need a DNA lab. Generate kudosh. Output, really? Only 20 points? I need a DNA lab and I need the shock treatment. That's what we're going to have to work on first. So I will start that project. And the dude that I had trained in here, Dr. Sam Force, it's not him. It was the other dude. And he, he did finish his training. It said finish training. Angela Pratt. We, if we go to staff in here and we go to the jobs list and we go to the doctor's, Perry Monk, right there, is not going to be allowed to work in those. And Sam Force is not going to be allowed to work in research. Perry Monk is the only one that is going to be working in research. Um, the rest, we will allow in the different places that they can go to for the moment. I don't have a ward manager, so we'll let all nurses work in all stations for now. But we will improve on that. I need to hire some more people. Doctors, I've got some new applicants on the way in. Nurses, we will start with Richard Bopp as 10% diagnosis skill, which would be helpful, and also treatment skill there for Linda um, Corduroy. And she's ready for training on another level, so I think we will go with her. She is unmotivated. She is slower, but she's still got the stuff that we need. So we will drop her in and... 
start another course. I've got a psychiatrist. Diagnostics. Who would be available to do diagnostics? I've got Dr. Angela Pratt over here, which would be quite useful. Then I've got Nurse Frobisher, who's a senior nurse. And then I've got uh, Nurse Linda Corduroy just here, who could also train. I'm going to leave... Ooh, which one am I... He, he, that nurse has basically got nothing apart from bedside manner. So we'll give them a little bit of diagnostics boost. And the doctor here who works in a GP office with, diagnose, uh, with, with diagnosis 15% in GP's office. If they've got diagnostics to go with that, that's going to help. So we will do that as well. Trainers available. We want that one right there. And start training. Right. There's that course now set in motion. I've got that one. I'm thinking psychiatry. And psychiatry could be down here. I could quite easily build a psychiatrist room in there. Uh, leave that one out like that and then put it up there like that. Uh, that bin needs to be moved. We can deal with that in a minute. Right. Let's come in around here and psychiatry there. Right. That chair in the corner. That one there like that. As we have so frequently done. Lamp. Diagnostics and treatment with the medicine cabinets. Now, what I don't like about putting medicine cabinets all the way around in the room in here is that is... Oh, wait a minute. Didn't I have a bookcase for this one? No, I don't. That's only the training room, isn't it? Anatomy is training. We're going to want a rug in this room. Right, we want this room to look better. Now, I've previously done bookcases because it's been quite a large part is about the looks of the room. I'd like it to look a lot better. And also the Rorschach poster, that's another thing that does improve the, the whole looks and feel of the room. I've got the radiator in here. I need the fire extinguisher. That one can't go in front of the Rorschach poster. Can I put, can I squeeze it in there? Nope. Uh, all right, well, we'll dump the fire extinguisher down there. Then we've got the bin, which will go there. It can give him an existential crisis. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that. And medicine cabinets, because he's going to be wanting to prescribe a whole load of um, antipsychotic drugs of some kind. I have no doubt. Right, so there, I've got four of those in there, which they're going to help a little bit with a few things, aren't they? I'm sure they are. Uh, we'll drop one of them in there, and we will drop that one right there. I can't put any... Oh, I could put one... No, I can't put one in the side. Or well, maybe next to the chair, but that's, that's not going to fit. So we'll leave it like that. Uh, I think that's about it. Yes, that will do. There's a psychiatrist room. That bin, there. Pick that one up. It's not allowed to go back into that corner. Let's put that one there a minute. Move that plant. Actually, take the plant away from there. Move the plant away completely and put it up over there for a minute. And then the bin, that one can then be brought back down to this side and just sort of put near that little nook over there. It's not really going to be used for very much. And then over here, we go to items and we can put down a bench here. I don't want to put one opposite the door. I put one over there and I won't put another one. We're just, just two of them at the moment. That'll be fine. So there, I've now got that one. We've got psychiatry. We've got training. We've got most things that we want. Wolf. I don't know what my time-traveling future self is up to, but my arm just disappeared. <laughs> VIP arriving. Please prioritize their amusement over patient well-being. <laughs> prioritize their amusement over patient well-being. Our doctor cause a new illness, animal magnetism, caused by mutated pheromones and or cheap deodorant. We'll send the patient for treatment in our pest control, and we have pest control patient up and running over here. Magnetism. On the way. We need a nurse in there. Uh, I've got four nurses. One, two, three, four nurses. 
I need another nurse minimum. You're a pharmacy nurse. Asquith Dump likes to argue cheats at board games. I don't have the money to hire you. Maybe I can get the money in a moment. We'll, we'll just, just leave it going. Maybe, just maybe. A lot of patients are queuing outside rooms that are run by doctors. That's fine. Let them keep queuing. If I could just get one more successful treatment, that would be absolutely great. Because then I can hire this nurse. Aha! Right, hire. Drop that nurse in there. What's wrong with you? Uh, one of these... Okay, I've just booted a nurse out. You in here have got Pharmacy Management Diagnostics 10. You have actually got a treatment skill. All right, hang on a minute. Oh, he's, he's, he's busy doing that. Right, I want you in here because you've got treatment skill. You'd be better. You would be better off doing that. So she's now going to hopefully... No, she's saying looking for work. We're, we're, we're getting rid of the animals with, with the um, ultrasonic cannon. Fantastic. Treatment successful. Right, now you get lost. Because even though... Oh, wait. No, you're, you're a senior nurse. You are not. So even though you got plus 10% skill there, I think... Yeah, you go away. I think that even though she's got that, right, I think that overall, you look at stats in here, diagnosis skill 90%, treatment 30, speed 80. If I look at this dude here, diagnosis, treatment, treatment here, what's your treatment? Treatment 30. It's a lot better. So, yeah, even though she's got the skill for treatment... His is higher because he's he's a just a better quality um, nurse. He's he's higher up the time spent food chain. About pay is time that could be spent working. <laughs> time spent worrying about pay is time that could be spent working. There's so much we could do to, with this place. A few more plants, a nice picture, some art, perhaps maybe even clean up the vomit. Challenge hospital attractiveness of seventy percent in a one hundred and eighty days. Except. What is the hospital attractiveness at the moment? Something just went wrong. Someone failed. Promote uh, staff request. 145 days. I need to promote some staff. I'm not able to do that. Celebrity visit. In progress. Nurse wanted on the ward. Visiting research. Promote staff. Right, well, where's this other staff? Oh, scroll down. Right, hospital attractiveness. I'm currently 60%. I need the attractiveness of the hospital to go up. How do we do that? We need something to make the place look better. Every day, hundreds of Pointians have their life force drained by corners they're not aware of. <laughs> Smooth yourself over by checking into an orb wellness center. Soak in the power of the orb. The orb is the perfect shape and the perfect solution. More Two Point, more often. This is Two Point Radio. Right, there was a warning letter that we had there to say about electrical storm, and I was waiting until other things are done. Did you see the bolt of lightning that came down there? Oh, there's another one over here. Right, it looks like that one is no good. So, what have I got as far as my janitors are concerned? Do I have anybody that's actually able to do the repair work? Staff promotion. Dwayne Malarkey is ready for a promotion, so we will promote him. Promote, like that. I want a, a nurse over here. Not a nurse, a janitor. Where are my janitors? There's a queue outside the GP's office. We're going to have to start building up the GP's offices. Publicity update. Roderick Cushion seemed very happy as he left our hospital, but then he's an actor. How can one tell? Oh, he sent a wad of cash too. I guess that counts. <laughs> right. So, he was impressed. We get that lot. Maintenance announcement. Automated snack machines need restocking manually. I'm not really sure how I'm going to get the attractiveness up. Special report. 
Challenge, cure seven patients with animal magnetism. You cured six out of seven patients. We get an additional 10,000. Fan schmastic. Absolutely wonderful. Now, I just want to pause a second. I've got some money. I do need another GP's office. We're going to have to put that one in over here, I think, next to that one. Right, he is over here and he is repairing it. So at the moment, upgrade skill is 130, maintenance 140, speed 110. He's pretty good. Bins and rubbish cleared, waste cleared up. Okay, the, the stats are pretty good on these guys. We've at least got we've got someone working on that. That's good. That's 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 what we want. We want people working on these things. Plants being watered. I could do with plants being I'll tell you what, we could probably do with an additional janitor. We've only got two in his place. We could do with an extra janitor. Staff. Let's have a look at what we've got. I got one that is able to capture ghosts. And we've got two that are able to upgrade. Go into higher over here. That is upgrade machines. And he is increased happiness. He's not able to be trained. This dude is ready to be trained. or and this, this lady is. She's got those two. We could also get her additional training as well. So if I bring her in like that, and I could immediately set a new training course. I've got ward management. I've got four potential trainees for ward management, which is I would really like to do. Uh, mechanics to maintenance right here is plus 30% maintenance, which I think would be fantastic. Uh... I could get three trained in that, so they would be able to do the maintenance a lot faster. He's repairing that one. I guess we wait until that one's done and then do it. Ward management. Right there. I've got four nurses. That is treatment skill. I want you trained in ward management. You've got pharmacy. You've got diagnostics. I want you trained in ward management. I will take those two nurses out and train them in ward management. And I'll go in here and we will have that trainer. And we will start training. And then once this one's repaired and that training course is done, I will train all of my janitors in maintenance, which should improve the flow of things. I really like these screens right here. Watching them work. He's busy doing his research. Look at that. Doesn't that look absolutely amazing? Genuinely brilliant, that does. Mr. Monk, over here. He's still only got level one qualification. And he's almost there, experiencing current rank 118. Ooh. What's wrong with you? Why are you zapping like that? We can upgrade our drug mixer. Unfortunately, we failed to complete the request. Promote three staff. Wasn't quite able to do that. Able to upgrade the drug mixer. I'm going to leave that one because this one here is almost repaired. And then I will be able to put a training session. Go Although, actually, the training session's got a little while to go. So maybe I should upgrade the drug mixer. I've only got one room here that can do that. Upgrade to drug mixer two. Gives new and improved recipes and everything else. Staff from Now I get the promotion. Just, li literally just after. Right, Perry Monk. That is excellent. He is now leveled up, which means that I can train him in the next level. In there. I, I do want to do the janitors first. Train the janitors in there before I get to him. Maintenance announcement. Then I'll do him. Bins will become full. Right. Bins will become full. After that, deep piece of information that we've just had there. I'm going to take this doctor's office, and I'm going to duplicate that one, and I'm going to dump it right in there, in that space. Um, it's going to squeeze up the space quite a bit. Uh, copy. See, if I drop that one in there... I've still got enough room to go around, I think. I, I think that'll be alright. I'll put the door up that side, like that. Yeah, that'll be alright. We'll drop that one down there. I'll put that one right in there, like that. Okay, and then I will go to training course complete ward management. Doctor needed in GP's office. Right, that's all three of those now trained. So I want to go maintenance, 
And I want tra three trainees available. So I've got one trainer right there. And then trainees over here is these three. I've got mechanics, which means that they are allowed to do... They can do upgrades. But I actually want all three of these. Learning speed, looking for work. Yeah, right. I don't know why. I, I clicked on them. I don't have the money. I do not have the money for that. Unaffordable. Upfront fee is unaffordable. Okay, we're going to have to leave that just for a little bit. But I will get all three janitors trained all at the same time. i let that janitor... I guess we've got to just wait for that one to finish doing his training there. Him, I want to train him in advanced research as soon as possible. I need another doctor. Higher. Let's not forget the other doctor. There's a psychiatry one. General practice and two lots of diagnostics right there. Along with... An additional teaching and learning speed. I mean, really, the only thing I'd want to put for him would be another diagnostics thing. And gets toilet rage. Believes they uh, have an understanding with ducks. Gets angry when he needs a toilet. Right, well, that's fine. So you can go in there. There's your new office. He's... Actually, I'm going to make sure that he only works in those rooms in there. So if I go to staff in here... And go to the job list. Perry Monk is only allowed to go into research. And this dude up here. Um, Sam Force is able to do psychiatry. But I don't want him in the GP's office. So I got Angelina Pratt in the GP's office. And she's also able to go into those. You, I'm thinking that... Well, it's only those two that are allowed into the GP's offices. But I do... I'm, I'm wondering if we should have an additional GP. Uh, I don't know. I'll stop him from... Unqualified, unqualified. End of year approaching. Right. I don't think we need to worry about that. That can just stay like that, can't it? Awards and yearly review. There we go. What are we going to get? I'm just going to open it all. We've got Rising Star, Employer of the Year and Best Teaching Hospital. I don't mind that. And ward emergency. There's been an outbreak of ward-related illnesses after Two Point Squabbler released a feature on advanced sleeping positions with incorrect diagrams that led to a range of internal and external conditions. There's a group looking for treatment. We'll be rewarded if we treat this group. Should we have them sent here? Challenge cure eight patients with monobrow, which need to be treated in the ward. One in the hospital. Yes. Patients now arriving for the ward. That means that we may get those uh, mono beasts. We need to find and shoot three mono beasts. Doctor, so to research, please. If they're bringing the mono beasts in here, that should help to make a bit of a difference. Now, I've got two doctors currently that can work in there. So I'm going to hire another doctor if I can. I don't have a suitable doctor at the moment. You've got advanced training speed. I don't want you. Uh, you have treatment. You got diagnosed. Hmm. Right, I'm going to reject both of them. I will get new applicants turning up. I got eight people working there. He's at the moment. Well, the, the only place he can go and work is there. I've got a whole load of people queued up here waiting to go into this room. Now, what I need to find out is. These mono beasts that they've all, the, all of these mono brows that they've got. Am I going to be able to do anything with them? Am I going to be able to? Um, if you're unlucky enough to get sick, my advice: don't turn to jumbo medical solutions. Their hospitals are well equipped, it's true, but what's the use of healing your body if you have to sell your soul, right? What's the use of healing your body if you have to sell your soul? Right, where are these mono beasts coming from? You, right there. What? Uh, that's the jasmine bed. That's who I'm looking for. Uh, visited by nurse, duration 20 days. Treatment in progress. Staff skill, difficulty, upgrades. We're treating monobrow. Laura Longbottom, a VIP. So where is... Right, I'm minus 6,000. I'm... You've not been treated. Failed monobrow treatment. This is unacceptable. 
This is absolutely unacceptable. Have, have I got... Uh, yeah, you've got the ward management. New illness monobrow discovered. We will send the patient for treatment. Right. Well, that's fine. But I, I need them to be treated so they can... We, we can get the mono beasts. There's a queue outside of the building. Well, I know about that. Please drive uh, home ah, 17, safely. No, 17,000 is still not enough, I don't think. Please drive home safely and soon. I've failed another one. We did. There is a cure. I've cured a mono beast. A, mo a mono brow. But what happened to the mono beast? Is it running around the hospital? This, this is what I'm curious about. Is where does the mono brow go? I've got to be able to take care of this mono beast. Now, I, I don't know where it is. I don't know what happens to the mono beast. I've, I've cured two. Oh, he's on death's door now with mono brow. I am not doing very well with this. I am not doing very well at all. And he's just died because of his mono brow. How can you die from a mono brow? Does that, has anybody seen any mono beasts? These things are not looking good. Right, let's, let's zoom in a little bit more. May, maybe we can upgrade our easy scan. What are you doing over here? Illness difficulty, staff, skill. See, it's, it's making it much more difficult. I've got 18,000 there. I think I'm still waiting for a little bit more. Right, he's cured. So where's his monobrow gone? Staff promotion. That is Dr. Angelina Pratt is able to be promoted. Promote. So failed four, cured three, one in progress. I'm not going to be able to cure enough of them. You got Harrison Wolf on Two Point Radio. The band claims the song you just heard was composed in outer space, somewhere around the second moon of Jupiter. That's the small one. You probably never heard it. Addressed to you. Of course, maybe they just drank too many cans of palpitation. <laughs> okay. Right. They drank too many cans of palpitation. I'm going to take all three janitors and train them in maintenance. Start training. Right. There is a training course underway. Special report. Challenge. Did I do it? I cured four, four out of eight. We cured enough of the patient group. This has helped our reputation. And we get ten grand from that. Some of our junior staff are a bit, well, rubbish. So maybe you could run a few more training courses. Challenge, train three staff. Except, well, I've got three of them now going. A lot of patients queuing for services run by assistants. Announcement. Copying rooms should not be used to clone staff. <laughs> Copying rooms should not be used to clone staff. I've got an assistant, assistant here. In reception. I've already got one assistant here. I don't know that I need another assistant there at the moment, do I? I mean, maybe I do. Maybe this is something that I'm, I'm actually needing. Um, I have yet to see a mono beast. Apparently, when you see a mono beast, you can just click on it and that will cure it. What are you in for? Diagnosis. But I have not seen any mono beasts. Okay, this dude is blue. What is wrong with you? Maybe there are mono beasts out. Well, I think that's quite enough care and loving attention inflicted upon the patients from myself for today so we will return next time in the meantime if you have enjoyed this episode then could you please head down below and give us a like and if you really enjoyed it then please tell your friends all about me get them to come and watch as well that would be awesome and until next time thank you very much for watching this is Frithgar goodbye and see you later